all right guys so today we will be doing a dame revisit but first i want to start off by showing you guys this so i've sold a lot of my characters to try and get this dame like as you can see sold a lot of things man but this has been killing me the lucky shot as you can see it's at 76 percent and this is what i'm saying about the gambling video in where like you can get really lucky and it can happen for you but there are times when you just get really bad luck so i started off at like 50 some percent trying to get him up and i've been doing one by one since then and it got all the way up to 76 so i definitely made a loss on this team if i were to sell him now but i got him for the video i'm happy with it i'll take the loss and yeah so that's just gonna be it for it um for the, this part of the video just wanted to show you guys that just advise you guys on what gambling can happen for you and all that stuff but yeah we got a 92 overall dame so we're going to show them off for you guys today also want to mention i've seen where a lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed and i'm on the road to a thousand subs and would really appreciate it if you guys would sub up like com comment so yes yeah, hop into the first game all right guys so this is a team a cat and him at and a cat and paul george versus uh paul george Embiid, and a tatum so i did the update and the recruiting thing i think it's a good update for that um so now it should be easier for people to get matches and get um teammates in hall of fame and well other ranks as well but to be able to get teammates and um get friends to maybe run on with you know so i think that's a good update there another thing about the update um they buffed tatum so i think tatum like his price shot up and he's barely on the market at all right now like it's actually insane how they buffed that man i think he might be one of the well he is he already was one of the best players in the game but i would did not think he would have been like what he is now with that update he's actually cracked um from three so yeah he's a really good character now you're gonna start seeing him more often in pvp uh, i don't know what this says about the game going forward if you're just gonna buff players based on their performance like i almost want to recommend people to just keep characters if that's how they're gonna do that because if they're just gonna let's say like someone like um well if, for example the dame that i'm using if dame goes off for a while like maybe like a month maybe in the playoffs or something and they, they buff the character then my dame becomes infinitely more valuable than what he is right now and that would be insane and because i have him at our, at our rank six then it's like what am i like i'll have a, a, such a better card for for what i spent for him so yeah that's a crazy update and what they're gonna what they might end up doing um, in the future if they're just going to keep buffing characters based off their skill. Um, so, just showing up them right now, I barely played any games before this, like using this character. Like, I've barely been getting matches just the past few days since, like, I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's probably going to come out on Tuesday because I haven't been able to, like, play games or record anything. So, like, since, like, Friday, Saturday, like, I think the whole entire Saturday, I didn't get a single game. I think Sunday I got a game with some players, like some other Hall of Fame players. That those games were so bad. Um, like the first game was good, but the other games was with KD and was it Choppity Poppy? I think that guy. Um, he uses a bam. But yeah, the first game was good. I'm really like a pass first player, and like um, Tyrese Halliburton isn't really like. He doesn't have ankle breaker and all those like dribble moves that can break ankles that you see often either so those games started off great the first game started off great but then like my, the other games my game like my phone just started lagging well not the phone but my, the game started lagging and it turned out pretty bad so i haven't been able to like test out other characters or play ranked in general so i haven't been able to put out videos hopefully i'm able to get some more games in now with this update so yeah this is like the first time really i'm using dame in ranked um in my first video uh, with him i had him at 85 overall and I'm, i titled the video like he's the worst legendary or something like that and it, as i said i, I still i still think that holds true with 
like him not being able to create separation but i think the way after the update the paul george update with everything like i think it plays more in the game now plays more into his play style and give me this right here please make that and he does it like shots like that that's what people take now to get open like those those are the shots you're going to see a lot of people take to get open it's like i think the game plays towards him and steph his style now so i just wanted to go come back and revisit him just be like okay since this is where the game is now i think him and steph are really good now so I'll, let me see how he is um shooting wise his shot is pretty quick i'd be messing up his shot timing um yeah I, like i haven't i haven't got the shot down i've been in the practice with him just trying to get the shot timing down but his shot is very quick um his jewel moves are a little weird not really what i'm used to um but so I'll, I'll get better with him there's definitely something that i realized when playing with kd um he he did this thing where he was using like the pump fake hesitation into the step back and that creates so much space and the shot is really ever moderately contested you're gonna see me do that a few times in this video i don't think i hit one of those but Every time I did it, the shot was lightly contested. So I think that's a good way. If a character has like pump fake hesitation, you just pull pull that off and then you go right. See, I, I messed the timing up, but he still hit it. Yeah, well, yeah, pump fake hesitation right into the step back. You're going to get lightly contested. It's going to be a good shot every single time. So we clear out that game pretty easy. Didn't really go off, but hit some hit a clutch shot and hit some more shots afterwards. So. I think it's a good showing of him eight points 50 percent field goal that's fine so yeah let's hop in the next game and see where if we can do any better all right guys so same team i'm um, going against a Kyrie, a devin booker and a carl anthony towns now i think this is going to be a good game based on the fact that we have Kyrie guarding us like we should be like i think Kyrie is a good offensive player but defensively like you i should be able to get like that dizzy animation anchor breaker animation very often um devin booker character i don't really see that often but i looked at his stats and compared them to dame and i think like he's a really good character he gets like shot contest resistance and like he's able to lower like the area of that cone like the shot contest um cone like that's kind of crazy I think eventually, like, people, like, he's a great mid-range shooter, not a good, like, he's good shooting threes, but he's, like, a really, really good uh, mid-range shooter, so I think eventually, like, once, whenever his Game Changers banner comes out or something, like, he'll be really good. See, I'm trying to do the pump fake hesitation into the step back, lightly contested, but, yeah, he misses that one. But, like, you create so much separation, and, as I said, the shot is really ever, like, even moderately contested so that's a good strategy to use there i'm not really a dribble guy i'm not going to act like i'm a dribble guy i'm like some crazy offensive player but with dame hopefully i'm able to like get to a point where i might keep him actually i might keep him and just keep going here um and have him as my main going forward until like someone like i don't know i want to as i said i'm really saving towards getting luca but I don't see where that's going to happen, but yeah, I'm not a dribble guard or any offense, crazy offensive player, but I try to play the game the right way, try to just create separation on my own and for my teammates by moving and carrying defenders, setting screens and passing. I really like passing to players with open shots um, instead of me forcing up one. Sometimes I will, obviously, but I like I just like creating and playing the game the right way. So. You might not see any crazy offensive gameplay with me with Dame anytime soon. Hopefully, I'm able to get to that point, though. Can I hit this one? No, he can't. See, that's the type of stuff that just annoys me because, like, I'm hitting the shot perfectly blue every, well, not every single time, but I'm hitting it blue, and then it's like, it's a mid-range, I'm wide open, and I still miss. Please hit this one blue again, and he hits that one. Okay. So, yeah, um... Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about with the update, I think the Steph, I thought Steph was going to be a game changer, but he's also like a prime collection like the LeBron that we had. So that's kind of unfortunate. If he if he came out in the next 
Game Changers banner, I probably would have tried to get him. But um, I think also, so the next one that's coming out is on the 21st, and that is Wemby, and he's probably going to end up coming on the same um, banner like play, like limited time, because it's stated that he would come in his own new hoop draft. So he won't pop up in NBA in the infinite. He won't pop up in, the, I think they're bringing back the cover classic or any of star studded. Like he might pop up in, Jok I think Jokic is the next, yeah, Jokic is the next game changer, which I will not be summoning for. Um, but he might be in Jokic's pool, like how Clay was in Anthony Davis's pool. So I might summon on that just to see if I could get Wendy, but most likely not because as I said, I'm saving for Luka. That's really what I want to do um, right now. So yeah, please make this one and he does. So the character can really go off another forfeit. The character can really go off from three. I think he's really good. I, as I said, I didn't think it was a bad character, but he just wasn't able to create separation. But if I'm taking shots like that, he's good. Another eight points on 60%. And so hop into the next game, see if we can still keep this hot streak going. All right, guys, so hopping into the next game. I don't know how many games I'm gonna put in this one, but I just played, try to get as many games in as possible because of how ranked was. Uh, but yeah, we're going against a 92 LeBron and a 92 Jokic. This is going to be a really tough game. Hopefully we're able to pull out the win in this one. Um, but yeah, that's something like I have not seen. That's the first time I'm seeing a 92 LeBron. So yeah, we're marking up this, well, try to guard this PG player. This is gonna be tough for us because PG is so good defensively. I'm not ever gonna really get open shots. And even if my shot starts off open, like, okay, that one's open. Yeah, so even if my shot starts off open for the most part, he's able to close out and give me like an, like so much shot contest. So that's this is gonna be a tough matchup, but hopefully we're able to pull out the win here. LeBron is open and there goes his dunk. Like, whenever like this card becomes like common, like in the market and stuff, it's gonna be crazy. I tried to do the pump fake hesitation. Didn't happen there, pass it here, gonna take that, please make that, and he doesn't. Okay, give it to LeBron, he's probably gonna get another dunk off, and yeah, you can't stop that. This card, like that card is so strong, man. That card is so strong. He has all the glitchy dunks that the regular 09 Braun has, and, like he's a much better shooter and he's a passer, t passing, but like he can pass and stuff. So like such a better overall uh, all around character now. He's probably gonna get another dunk off, isn't he? Yep. Okay, let's try to get something here off movement. Please pass it. I Well, if I did pass it, I would have been open. And well, he's open there, but he misses. Okay. Please miss. Pass it here. Okay, that's wide open. I thought the shot contest was gonna be there. Hoping that was a three, but that's a mid range. So you can't keep falling for that, and then LeBron just gets that. Yeah. He's trying to do the reach and steal, which won't always work, especially with a character like that. Come on, hesitation, step back, lightly contested again, and he misses. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand sometimes. He makes that one, doesn't he? And of course he does. Like, that's what I don't get, man. Wide open. Oh, we'll take the two. by the screen no we do not which is pretty good that we're able to avoid that especially with Jokic's ability causing collision rate okay what's he gonna do he's gonna pass it please don't make that please get the rebound and we can't get the rebound okay, 
play some good defense. And no, we can't. And he's wide open. Nope. Get the rebound and no rebound again. This is not looking good. And yeah, we're going to get hit by that. Yeah, yep. LeBron is legitimately taking over and controlling the game. We need a three. Come on, pass it here. I like the shot started off so late. Oh my gosh. You saw me, I pressed it immediately, but it didn't trigger immediately. And then he was able to catch up for the contest. That's a bad shot by me. And they're gonna pull away. Mm, can we get a three? Uh, what was that? Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's definitely gonna be game. He makes that. No, he doesn't. No rebound. Yeah, that's game. Ah, that lightly contested three and that contested three that I took towards the end of the game. If I, that shot went off earlier. I was able to hit that shot even though it was lightly contested. We would have won this game. This is going to hold it. Yeah. Oh, he took the shot. They still missed. Yeah. Wow, oh, how old did he shoot? What, what did he shoot? What was our percentage? It's 92 LeBron 12. Yeah, I knew that he just took over the game. He's so good offensively. All the Gucci dunks. 7 on 60. So around the same, but didn't able to get the win. Let's hop into the next game and see what we can do there. All right, guys. Hopping into the next game. We have a Brook Lopez and a Wiggins on our team going against another Dame. Anthony Davis and a Paul George. Now, AD is someone obviously since his banner came out. Like I've been seeing him much more in PvP in a few games that I have been able to play. And his skyscraper ability, like he gets blocked so often. It's not even funny. I think this character is like really, really, really strong defensively. And like he's a great option instead of like running a center, like you can run AD as your center. So let's hit this shot right here, blue, and he hits it. Okay, so as I said, like shots like that, that's the type of shots that people take nowadays, like right off the screen, just shoot it. Drifting shot like that, like that's what the meta is right now in terms of like taking shots and fading shots, that's the next thing. Like it's really the meta right now. That's really what people, you see people do often in high ranking PVP. Can I get it? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I should have waited. I should have waited. I thought it was going to be more open. Pass it up. Took a bad shot. Don't get the rebound. See, like turn around shots like that. Yeah. Okay. Can we get another fading three just like the last time? Pass it here, I'm wide open. Come on. Okay, get it. Good release, and we do hit it. Okay, starting off good, two threes, two threes. The other, the opposing dame hasn't done anything so far, and he's wide open. There goes another rebound. And he's gonna get that. As I said, he can replace your center. And yeah, the Wiggins is just getting cooked right now. He's actually getting cooked. Wide open. Ah, uh, not so good release. Yeah. Pass it back. Oh, he came a little uh, and he still made it. Okay. He, I was not expecting that to be contested because I pressed it earlier just like the last game. But no way. Okay. How is that wide open? Okay. Come on. Drifting. Wide open. Let's go. 12. Okay, so this is what I'm saying about this character. He's hyper offensive. When the shots are falling, no way. Okay, when the shots are falling, there's no other character that can really do this. Why would you take that shot? Okay, just pass it here, please. Pass it here. And yeah, he gets blocked. By who else? Anthony Davis. And he's wide open again. Oh, yo, we're going to lose this game if he keeps leaving it open. No way. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Okay, the Wiggins player is actually getting cooked. Right? He's getting destroyed, burnt, barbecued. Please don't take a dumb shot. 
Ah, uh, no, I was, yeah. I didn't expect him to get off the screen like that. That was a bad shot, and he hits that. You know, the Wiggins is just after, like, PG is single handedly winning this game for them. Because our Wiggins players just can't play defense on them. Pass it back. get the shot there can I no 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 okay that's two heavily contested bad shots right there okay we need one stop one stop just one stop and a rebound and don't tell me okay oh no re okay that's game that's game unless they take a shot very early that's game which it looks like they want to score here, so we might have an opportunity. Please get the rebound, and yeah. and he's gonna make that one. Yep, Paul George single-handedly won them the game because our Wiggins player got cooked. I'm just gonna check this. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we'll play one more game. Next game will be the final game. Hopefully we're able to pull that out with a win. 16 points. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Wiggins got cooked 12 on 44. I took two bad threes, but yeah, stop in the next and final game. Hopefully, we're able to pull that out with a win. All right, guys, final game of the video going against a Harden, Siakam, and Embiid. And we have a Laurie and an Embiid on our team. Okay, so hopefully, we're able to pull out a win in this one. Okay, that's great right there. That's actually a great movement. I've been real, as I said, I've been realizing like people don't, not everyone does the strat of running straight to the rim anymore. Because like, I feel like they definitely buff like movement speed off that first rebound or tip or whatever. So it's not like guaranteed every time. I've seen that getting blocked and people missing the layup like because it's contested. So. They definitely did something with it. Okay, that's bad rebound. Siakam's ability. He's gonna make that, yep. Like, Siakam, that, I still believe that's the strongest ability in the game. Please hit this. That's a bad release. Yeah, that was a bad release. Give me it right here. I'm gonna hit this one, yep. Blue. Like I said, I still don't have his release down. It's so quick, so sometimes I'm expecting it to just move by, just get right up to where I want it to be. But, yeah, that one was really late. Okay, Siakam's ability again. Please miss that. See, see what I'm talking about? Like, once he starts getting rebounds, and his rebound rate is going... Well, not his... Re well, is it his rebound rate? Or I know he decreases. Yeah, I think his rebound rate goes up while he decreases his um, the player that's guarding him rebound rate. Can't get by there. Stuck. Ah, I tried to do the. I forgot to do the pump fake uh, before the step back. That's what I was trying to do, and I ended up doing the step back. Okay. Four seconds. Please do something with it, and he does. I think Laurie is a character that needs so many buffs. Like, for the stats that he has, I, as I said, I use them. I think he's, like, just based off his stats, he should be a really good character. But he misses so many open shots. Like, he has, like, a 500 or almost 600 mid-range, I think. And because he has mid-range pull-up pro, like, he's able to hit mid-range shots more than he does his threes. And he has at 806 i think mid um three pointer at max i think that's so insane I, I, like i don't know they need to either please like this hold on yes i think they need to give that man like three point pull up pro or something because i don't i don't think he has catch no i think he actually does have catch and shoot but i think he needs three point pull up pro and maybe something else because he misses, he needs a buff desperately. He misses way too many shots. Okay, there we go. Wide open, can I make that one? Have I, I don't, I've done that multiple times in this video so far and I haven't hit one. Hmm. And okay, teammate does something with it. Okay, 
Okay, that's yeah, it's gonna make that one. Okay, Laurie player, don't take a bad shot. It's, and he does take a bad shot. What timing? Got the rebound and he get the dunk. Okay. So this is looking like a win if we can get a stop here. We can get a stop here and the rebound. We should win. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no rebound. Okay, we need to pull out one more stop and a rebound. And the game, okay, he just takes it. That's terrible. And we get the rebound, surprisingly, over to Siakam. So that is going to be game. I'm holding the ball out until the very last second. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be game. Um, as I said, Dame is a really good, can I hit that? That's kind of a bad release. Okay, we do hit that. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. As you can see, Dame is a character that can really pop off. He has like really good shooting stats. 9 on 60, that's pretty good. So yeah, like he can really go off three point wise if you know what you're doing and getting the shots off, like how you're supposed to. And yeah, I think he's a good card. I'm probably gonna keep him for a little while, but hopefully I enjoyed. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.